All right, we left off right here, and this is not the correct interpretation, but we had found that y was equal to 14, so we put 14, or excuse me, r in this case, is equal to 14, so we put 14 in for r, we solved for t, and then at the very end I didn't get a chance, but this is the point then. I gave you the 14 for r, you found 12.095 for t. Now what does that mean? Well, in 2000. 12 now, right? Because if you'd round that, you get about 12. 2012, the rate at which airlines have bumped passengers is expected to be 14 per 100,000. Or you could put it this way: the rate at which um, the rate at which airlines bump passengers is expected to be about 14 per 100,000 passengers in 2012. Because I gave you the 14 to start with, so you could say, you know, I expected this rate to be 14 in that year. Okay. All right, next, intercepts. Well, there's two intercepts. There's the r-intercept and the t-intercept. All right, so let's find the r-intercept. If you remember, this is going to work very similarly to what we had um, back here. I'm going to go grab this. OK, an r-intercept is when t is equal to 0, right? r-intercept is when t is going to be 0. So you're going to have um, your f of t is equal to uh, 0 0.63t plus 6.38. So you're going to let t be equal to 0 for that r-intercept. And that means you're going to take f of 0, which is 0 0.63 times 0 plus 6.38 which means you're going to have 0, 6.38. And again, remember for yourself, just for your own benefit, that these go t, comma, r, right? Which is equal to year, comma, rate, rate per 100,000. All right, now why am I doing that? Well, because it's going to help me with my interpretation part, right? So this is all the work to come up with it. And honestly, this one's so simple. R intercepts, the, the y intercepts are so easy. You can tell they're 6.38 just by looking at the equation. But what does it mean? You have to explain both numbers. You have a 0 and a 6.38, and you've got to explain both of them. So, in what year is this? It's not 2014, it's in 2000 because that was your starter year. The rate at which airlines will bump passengers will be about or was about, this isn't future anymore, so I guess I should say was, um, airline, um, were bumping passengers, bumping passengers um, is approximately, or was approximately, because it's past tense, was approximately, or was about, you could say, if you don't like the word approximately, was about 6.38 per 100,000. Cool. Did. And I take it back, this isn't going down, this is going up. Sorry. Did I say it was going down? Oh my goodness, I'm losing my mind. This was wrong. This was positive. You're probably shouting at the screen. It's going up. Up. By um, that much. Sorry. It just occurred to me that I did that wrong on the last one, on the last video. I'll, I'll add a call out or something. All right, now let's find the t-intercept. The t-intercept is going to be the same kind of deal, except when the t-intercept, it's going to be the r value, the y in our case, is 0. Okay? So you're going to say, OK, this whole thing is equal to 0. This way. The r is equal to 0 for the t-intercept. In other words, the f of t is equal to 0. for the t-intercept. Okay, So you're going to say, OK, I don't know what t is, but I know that the whole thing has to be equal to 0. So I'm going to put 0 in for f of t, and I'm going to put t in over here. So it's going to be 0 for f of t equals 0.63t plus 6.38. And you're going to solve that for t. So you subtract 6.38, do it to the right, you got to do it to the left. 
So you're going to get negative, 0 point, oh, gee, negative 6.38 equals 0 0.63t. You've got to divide both sides by 0 0.63. So you're going to get that right here, right there, okay? Which means you're going to have t is about, and you're going to use a calculator for it, right? 6.38 divided by 0.63, and you're going to get negative 10.127 or so, comma, zero. There's your t-intercept. Boom. Now, what does that mean? Well, it's not in 2000, right? It's saying in, now here's the tricky part. What year is this talking about? Because it's not 2000. 2000's our starter year. So we have a negative value for t, right? Negative 10, so that would be in about 1990, right? So you take 2000 and go 10 years back, that would be 1990. 10 years in the future would be 2010, but 10 years negative is 1990. About our, um, the model estimates that no passengers were bumped from airline flights, right? Zero, none. So you're interpreting both numbers. So 1990 comes from the negative 10. Zero gets you the no passengers were bumped. This is probably model breakdown because there was always a little bit of bumping going down. Model breakdown. But I can tell you for sure that anything before negative 10 is definitely model breakdown, right? Because anything before that would have a negative value. So let me make a note. Before negative 10. So let me put it this way. T less than negative 10. 0.127 would be model breakdown for sure because it would um, lead to negative um, rates of bumping, which is impossible. <laughs> oh my goodness, which is impossible. So that's just a little note to yourself to make. So again, sorry about that negative sloping thing. All right, we're done with that problem. Let's look at the next one. The cost in millions of dollars um, for, of a 30-second commercial during the Academy Awards has increased approximately linearly from 0 0.8 um, million to, in 1997 to 1.7 million in 2007. Predict when the start or when the cost will be 2.2 million. Cool. All right, they gave us years again, right here, and I think it's a smart move for us. Um, even though they never said so, let's make a starter year. And it's up to you when you want to do it, but I'm going to make the starter year, um, let's think, 1990, for the heck of it. <laughs> That's not the only way you could do this. but So that means that I've got 7, that would be 1997. So in, in 1997, it was 0 0.8 million. Okay. Matter of fact, I'm going to put that up here as well. I want to get myself some variables. So start of year is 1990. Remember, it's going to go, um, let's see, year, because year is independent, as it is in most cases, and then cost in million dollars. I always want to give myself my unit there. Okay? So I have 1997, that's 0.8 million, and I have in 2007, that's 17, it was 1.7 million. Now again, it didn't have to be this way. You could have made your starter year 1997, 1995. I mean, there were a lot of ways you could do this. It was just the way I chose to do it. All right, so I need my model. I can't predict, I can't make these predictions without a model. So I'm going to have to find it. Um, so find the um, equation of the model. That's what we're going to do next. So, okay, y is equal to mx, mx plus b. Now, I didn't actually set up any variables for myself, so it's totally okay for me to say this is x and y. They didn't, they didn't give me any letters to begin with. If they had said t and you know c, then you'd have to use t and c. So, you have to use whatever letters they give you. Okay. As a matter of fact, let's do that, just for the heck of it. t and c. 
right? T time and cost. Why not? Let's live life dangerously. All right, so cost is equal to mt plus b. All right, I'm going to need m. m is, now it's not, it's normally y2 minus y1, but my y value is c. So c2 minus c1, or you can use y2 minus y1, that's fine. t2 minus t1, you don't have to use t and c like I did. All right, now my second cost was 1.7 minus my first cost, which is 0 0.8, over 17 minus 7. Got to keep it consistent. So if the 17 number's in front, then so is the 1.7. This gets you about 0 0.09. This is approximate, I believe. Here, I'll check. Uh, let's see, that's point... Um, 9 over 10? Yeah, it's, oh no, it's not even approximate, it's exact. It's 0 0.09. Okay, so that's 0 0.09, and let's remind ourselves for just a second. This is 0 0.09 over 1, right? What are the units? Cost was in million dollars, and then time was in year. Keep that in mind. That's going to help us if ever we have to interpret this, which they didn't ask us to, but it always pays to know what's going on. Okay, so our slope is 0.09, okay? All right, so then I know it's C is equal to 0.09T plus B. Now I just need to solve for B. Okay, well, I'm going to use one of the points. It doesn't matter which one. I'll use 1.7 equals uh, 0.09 times 17 plus B. Oops, B. Okay, so that's 1.7 equals... 0 0.09 times 17 is 1.53 plus b, but again, you could use a calculator. Well, I don't know where that 6 came from. Get that out of there. Then you subtract 1.53 from both sides, right? And you're going to get b is equal to 0 0.17, okay? All right, so that's then you got your equation. c is equal to... 0.09t minus 1, 0 plus 0 0.17. There's your model. They didn't ask you for the model, but it pays to find it, especially because sometimes they'll have you do other stuff.